Hi guys, it is Anna once again. I'm here to give you guys pretty much pregnancy update. Um, you know, just maybe some little tips in between. Um, also, you know, just talk about body changes that I've noticed, cravings, etc. We'll be revealing the name of our daughter. We, I already kind of revealed it through um, via Instagram and Facebook but i will i will share it with you as well okay so let's get started with the video i will also be sharing with you one of the apps that have worked out that has worked out for me during the pregnancy I actually used it when i was pregnant with emma as well um it's a really cool app you know it's like a pregnancy tracker kind of it gives you tips and as you can tell we are in my living room uh, again um I am refilming this video because I had filmed it with my lights and my backdrop or background but um, it just seemed to rush for me because I was doing it with Gustavo and I didn't take notes on it so I, I didn't really prepare myself I just went and just went with it. And then when I was watching it, I'm like, no, it just seems way too rushed. So this time I actually took my time. I analyzed, I wrote down stuff, I took notes, and yeah, I feel much better about this one. Hopefully it'll turn out good. <laughs> um, my due date is May 21st of 2017. I have a few more months to go, which makes me be at 23 weeks and one day pregnant. So my baby is actually the size of a bunch of grapes. <laughs> Last week it was the size of a corn and a cob. That pretty much gives you a better idea. So, um, you know, lately I've been feeling her little kicks more often. I've been um, experiencing her movements more constant. I love feeling her little, her little kicks. I think that's one of the cutest experiences you will go through, you know, pregnancy. I feel like time is kind of flying, but not really. But when I think about it, like 23 weeks, that's, that's pretty much half, a little bit half, a little bit more than halfway there, really. Emma is in my shot right now. Oh, <laughs> Emma. All right, so as far as my body changes, I'm gonna leave Emma there and you guys could uh, enjoy the view of Emma in the background. She's always taking off her socks. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna glue them onto her feet. I'm kidding, I will never do that. So as far as my body changes, of course, I am gaining weight. The last time I checked, I wasn't overweight just yet. So that's a good sign. And the reason why I'm saying just yet is because I know I will get to that point and I will be overweight if I continue to eat the way I eat. It's because it's hard. I'm eating healthy. I'm not going to say I'm eating, you know, bad. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good with my nutrition and I'm feeding my baby good stuff. But also, you know, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I want my burgers every now and then. I want some hot dogs or I want some tacos. It's fine. The con about gateway is that it's getting harder to sleep at night. And also, Emma is sleeping with us right now. I know a lot of people aren't really don't really agree with your children sleeping with you but i mean we are completely comfortable with that would feel horrible if she's like in her crib and it's freezing and you know it gets cold like late at night i, I know that once my belly gets bigger i will definitely not have her on the bed with us because she can be a crazy uh sleeper sometimes so as far as cravings, I'm not really getting much or any cravings really. I do like fruit with... My mouth is like starting to water right now. 
I do like fruit with tahine and limon. That I can't say no to. Lately, I've been eating a lot of pancakes. I, I make them myself, of course. And I usually sliced up a banana with syrup. I am not going to go technical and add um, whole grain uh, batter or whatever. So I'm not going to lie about that. But I love my pancakes in the morning. And as far as, you know, what vitamins or what pills, which are these, pretty much. I, I'm actually running out, so I have to go order some new ones. You see a nice mommy? She randomly comes to me and gives me hugs. And I love it. So now that Emma's here, I would want to reveal to you, or I just I would just like to talk about how she's pretty much handling this pregnancy situation. Of course, she's noticing every time I hold her or every time she comes to me that there's a belly in between us. And um, I don't feel like she's reacting in any way to it as she's just noticing. Maybe she's just thinking that I'm getting a little bit chubby. <laughs> so, um, as for, you know, I, I, I tell her that there's a baby in here she actually comes to me randomly sometimes, pulls up my shirt and says, Bebe. And I'd be like, and I tell her, yes, there's a baby. A in my bag. Bebe, yeah. Donde esta bebe? Hmm. I, down here, mommy. So, yeah, sh um, I'm trying to get her to get the idea that there will be a baby in our house eventually. She will not understand as much, right? But I kind of try to show her. There's a baby in mommy's belly and we play with the dolls sometimes and I carry the doll and you know I, I'm teaching her how to be gentle with dolls and with babies. So um, we'll get there eventually. I know she will be a great, awesome, loving sister. So I would love to share um, this app with you that I was telling you guys about, it's called uh, Ovia. So let me go ahead and show you. I will go ahead and zoom up or zoom the camera into my phone so I could show you guys more in detail and just show you why I love this app so much. Okay, there we go. So it's actually updating. There we go. So pretty much, um, you can actually add one of any picture you you want onto the thing. It's like a little profile, like your own little profile that you can have. So um, you have to create an account to get the app, of course. Um, the app is completely free, which is even better. Um, okay, so pretty much the way it tracks down your pregnancy, you just plug in the estimated due date that they give you at the doctors. Um, also, you can... Wow, you can also update or you can also plug in the last menstrual period down there and then it automatically gives you your 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 due date. I am on my second trimester. I am 23 weeks and one day. It gives you the size or the estimated size of your baby. Um, another thing I loved about this is that you can actually name your baby. So before we had our baby's name, I put Blessing as the name of my baby. Um, it's funny because I actually used the same one for Emma. I used them as a, I put their name as Blessing because they are a blessing. Come on. It gives you tips. Um, it tells you, uh, what the baby is, you know, the baby's development, um, so far how the baby looks what the you know the stages that your baby's going going through so, so yeah guys this is a really really nice uh a really really nice app that i love and that i would recommend to any new mom that is the app that i was you know talking about that i love baby mommy so um i, I would really recommend it and it's filled with information pretty much as far as baby buys i really haven't bought anything just yet because i am packed with a lot of stuff 
Um, I am definitely going to be, you know, reusing stuff that Emma has left behind. There's a bunch of new baby clothes um, that Emma wasn't able to use, which I will definitely use for our baby Emma, girl. We have been receiving little gifts here and there, um, and I do want to share this with you. It is the uh, Dr. Brown's Natural Flow bottles. Um, I, Emma actually loved these when she was a newborn. Um, these were the only bottles that she would pretty much chug her milk out of. She loved them. So, um, I was pretty pleased. The only thing I will say is that I hate washing the little filters that they come with. But, um, I think... They do the job. They, they reduce the yeah, leche para la baby mommy. The, it says that it helps reduce colics, spit up, burp, burping, and gas. So yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I always wash bottles, like brand new bottles, before I use them because it's always good to wash your stuff before you use them. So thank you, Cindy, for um, this gift. Mama. She actually, don't miss that. She actually also gave me a little onesie for uh, for the baby. So I will stop calling my unborn baby baby. I will stop referring to her as just baby because we came up with the name and we are pretty pleased. Um, like I said, we already revealed it um, via Instagram and Facebook. But I will reveal it to you right now. So we went with Leah May. So that is Leah L E A H May. It did take us, you know, a few, few days to really be like, okay, that's the one. So yeah, we went with Leah May. We figured that it was a cute, simple name that is as beautiful as Emma Rose. So as far as the pregnancy update, um, that would pretty much conclude all the points I actually had to share with you guys. So in another note, we are pretty excited because we have decided that we're going to get Emma a pet finally. And as you know, we do live in an apartment and they don't really allow um, cats or dogs. And even if they did, we would really think about getting a cat for her because um, Gustavo's sister, she has a cat of her own. And Emma loves to chase it around or whatever. And last time, Emma pulled the... Excuse you. Emma pulled the cat's tail and gave the cat diarrhea for a whole week. So... <laughs> Gustavo's sister was super scared that, she, that the cat was going to die, but it didn't. So, so we're like, okay, maybe we should really rethink about getting her a cat right now. Maybe later on once she knows better on how to play with the cat and take care of the cat, maybe we will. But as, as for now, she loves, loves, loves looking at fishes and we are going to get her a fish. Maybe more than one, but... We're going to get her her first fish tank with fishes. And it's crazy because we went to Petco and she was in love. She, you know where the fish, the fishes are. She was going nuts. And we're like, let's just get her fish in the little fish tank. And Gustavo loved the idea. That's going to be her first pet, official pet. So... She doesn't understand that right now, but pretty much when she sees a tank somewhere here and she's, uh, you know, she sees fishes in there, she will just want to stay there the whole day. So we are pretty excited about that and we're glad we're doing that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for the other videos. If you, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, so you could watch more videos. So stay safe, guys. See y'all soon. Goodbye.